Hello, welcome. Take a moment, pause the video, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. Okay, so we've got two pennies. Penny, penny, nickel, 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 four nickels. Two dimes, dime, dime, and then seven quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven quarters. How many different ways can they be arranged in a row? Well, two, four, two, and seven. We're adding these all up. That's the number of things we're arranging, and that's six plus nine, 15. Now, normally, if I said how many ways can you arrange 15 distinct, I guess when I say normally, I mean when you're arranging distinct items in a row, you would say 15 factorial, right? First, there's 15 that you can choose, and 14 and 13, all the way down to one. But here we want to divide by all the rep repetitions. In other words, if I swap these two pennies, we're assuming they're identical pennies, it'll look the same. So there are two factorial ways of doing that. There are four factorial ways of arranging these nickels. Divide by that. Two factorial ways of arranging those dimes, and then seven factorial ways of, identify of arranging those quarters. Now, what you want to do is set this up. Like set this up on the calculator, excuse me, and you do 15 factorial divided by, and then make sure you put this in parentheses, otherwise that will throw your order of operations out of whack. You want to divide it by 2 factorial, sorry I can't show my calculator right now, times 4 factorial, times 2 factorial, times 7 factorial. Set it all up, and I get a big number, let me write this down. Two seven zero two seven zero zero. I like that symmetry, that number. Over two, uh, two point seven million ways of doing this, and that's accounting for repetitions that we don't even need to include. All right, I hope that helps.